Welcome back to Ask the Plant Doctor. With me is the walking encyclopedia of all things horticultural, Kim Kohoff of WSU Spokane County Master Gardener Program. Now, Kim, I see we are in the demonstration bed at the Master Gardener Program. Uh, and Kim, I see that there's some carrots popping up here already. Right, so. Carrots are one of those cold weather or uh, cool weather crops that we were able to get in and get started early. Uh -huh. And so we've got just a little uh, little bit of the first leaves of the carrots are coming up. And of course, we always overplant because the uh -huh. seeds are so small we uh -huh. end up having to thin. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's the hardest thing for people to do. They, they don't want to thin those carrots out, but it's really important in order to get the full size carrot. Right. Now, according to this label, the, this carrot was planted on April 25th. Tim, there is a very common question you hear from people all the time mm -hmm. regarding tomatoes. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> what, can you share with us? Yes, so uh, we actually have a, a pool. We, we take bets on when the first date that someone is going to call and ask if they can plant their tomatoes outside. This year, the first date was actually February 28th. February 28th, people were calling. They're anxious. Yes, they wanted to plant it, and it's too early. February too early. is right. In fact, we haven't even planted tomatoes here yet. We're still we're still afraid of a late frost. But. So then, when is the best time to plant? So we're right getting in. We're getting into that time. So we're in mid-May right now, uh -huh. and some people will start planting theirs around this time. We're down in the valley part of, of Spokane, and so it's a little warmer here. If you're up at a higher elevation, if you're out away from the city of Spokane, you might have to wait till June 1st. But just wait and uh, look ahead a couple of weeks and see if there's any frost in the forecast, And because uh, tomatoes don't like frost. They're, they're a warm weather crop for sure. So, right. So remember that we are talking about eastern Washington and northern Idaho. So it may be a different schedule if you're watching this from the south or somewhere else you know, absolutely Mexico, yes right? so in other words just use your common sense right so even if you have planted your tomato a little early and you know that there is frost coming is there any way to remedy that of course so um and i've done this myself where i got a little excited about my tomatoes and planted them early there are different ways of protecting your tomatoes. You can put a structure up to kind of hold uh, something like plastic or row cover is a, is a fabric that protects tomatoes from frost. Anything to keep uh, a little insulation and keep the environment around the tomato a little bit warmer. Okay, so in other words, exercise the most difficult things that you have to do as a gardener. Patience. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Be patient. It's better to wait another couple of days than to have to plant twice. Uh -huh. And then the second advice from Kim is use your common sense, right? Yes. Use your common sense. And so if you're in the valley, you always can bet to be a couple of days or maybe a week or so earlier. Mm -hmm. But if you live up higher in the elevation, in the outlying area, mm -hmm. then watch the weather. Watch the weather and, and don't rush it. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Tim. Thank you for visiting. Okay. Well, until next time, stay tuned for more tips on urban homesteading.